on pages 9 and 10 of our Unit 5 notes, we are solving a system using substitution. Substitution is a great strategy to use when you have an equation such as the one on the right, where we have one equation in terms of either y or x. So we have this equation in terms of y, y equals 2x plus 2. This is a perfect equation to solve using substitution, and I'm going to go ahead and do that one first. So at the intersection point, at the solution to this system, we know that x and y are the same in both equations. That means since y is the same in both equations, since y equals 2x plus 2, I can plug that expression, 2x plus 2, in for y into the first equation. Again, y equals 2x plus 2 in the second equation, and since x and y are the same at the intersection point, at the solution, I can plug in 2x plus 2 in for y. That gives me a single equation. So 4x minus 6 times this whole expression, so it's really important that I include those parentheses, equals 12. 2x plus 2 inserted, substituted into the first equation, and now I have a single variable equation that I can solve for x. 4x minus 12x minus 12. Be really careful with the distributive property. That's a very common place for error. Then I have a two-step equation. I have half of my solution after solving that two-step equation. x equals negative 3. I need the other half. I need the y value. I can use either equation to find y. I could plug in negative 3 in for x into the first equation, but I'm going to go ahead and use the second equation because it's already solved for y. 2 times negative 3 plus 2. That gives me a y value of negative 4. That means my solution to the system is x equals negative 3, y equals negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and check that solution just verbally with the first equation. So 4 times x equal to negative 3, that's negative 12, minus 6 times negative 4, so minus negative 24 plus 24. Negative 12 plus 24 does equal 12. That means this is a solution to the system. I know that negative 3, negative 4 is a solution to the second equation since I already used it to find y. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 2 is negative 4. So I successfully found the solution to this system. For the example on the left, it's not such a quite, it's not such a easy um, example since neither of the equations is already solved for one particular variable. But that's an easy transformation to make. I could either solve this first equation for x or I could solve the second equation for y. I'm going to go ahead and solve the first equation for x just to show you that it doesn't need to have one equation in slope intercept. I can instead have one equation solved for x in order for substitution to work. So x plus 3y equals negative 11. I'm going to solve that for x. x just equals negative 3y minus 11. Again, at the intersection point, x and y are the same in both equations. So I can take my x expression from the first equation and plug it into my second equation x equals negative 3 minus y minus 11, I can substitute that whole expression in for x. So 2 times negative 3y minus 11 plus y equals 13. I now have one equation in one variable. Parentheses, please make sure they're there. Check your distributive property really carefully. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6y. 2 times negative 11 is negative 22 plus y equals 13. That gives me negative 5y minus 22 equals 13. Two-step equation. Negative 5y equals 35. So my y coordinate of my solution is y equals negative, oh, negative 7. 35 divided by negative 5 is negative 7. I need to plug y equal to negative 7 back into um, one of the equations in order to find the other variable. I can plug it into this equation, this transformed equation, or I could plug it back into an original equation. 
I'm going to go ahead and plug it into this original equation. So x plus 3 times negative 7 equals negative 11. x minus 21 equals negative 11. And you just solve for x, and I get x equals 10. Please be careful when you're writing your ordered pair. We solve for y first, x second, but we still need to write x first, and then y. Again, substitution is a method that's really prone to small errors, so go ahead and check your solution with both, um, with both equations. 10 plus 3 times negative 7. 10 minus 21. Yes, that does equal negative 11. And then 2 times 10 plus negative 7. Yes, 13 does equal 13. Substitution is a really common method to use with story problems. For this particular story problem, we have bags of chips. We have, I guess, bags, boxes, pieces of candy. I'm just going to write number of candy. I know I'm buying bags of chips for $2 and candy for $1. So I could just write that as x or 1x, and I'm spending $20. So I spend 2x on chips, I spend x on candy, and then I'm buying 12 snacks. That means the number of chips plus the number of candy that I buy is equal to 12. Now I could transform either of these equations so that one variable is by itself. I'm going to go ahead and solve for x, and then I would just plug in this whole expression for x into my first equation. 2 times negative y plus 12. So close, I may as well go ahead and solve. Negative 2y plus 24. So, so negative y is negative 4. That tells me that I buy four pieces of candy. If I'm buying four pieces of candy, x plus four equals 12, that means I'm buying eight chips. So eight chips, four pieces of candy for a total of 12 snacks. Let's check that, eight times two is 16. 16 plus four, yes, I did spend $20.